Hello guys and welcome back. So dito sa video natin ngayon, ang pag-usapan natin ay ang tinatawag na Squarespace. So we've talked about uh, WordPress, we've talked about Tumblr, we've talked about Blogspot. Another uh, another tool for making a blog or a website is called Squarespace. So, dito sa case na ito, ready-made na. Ready-made na yung website ng client. And, ang gusto lang niya is dagdaga ng mga keywords doon. Yung keywords, yun yung tinatype natin sa Google, sa Yahoo, sa Bing, ng mga search engines para mahanap yung anong gusto nating information. So, yan ang keyword. The words that you type in the search engines. So, this is Squarespace. Just go to squarespace.com And then, you can log in using your clients or you can create, I think they have a free account. And once you log in, makakapili ka na ano yung website na i-manage mo. So, in this case, there's only one. So, click on it. Or you can create a site here. Create a site here or click on the existing site. So, we're gonna go in there and then titingnan natin isa-isa yung mga settings to figure out ano yung pwede nating pagandahin. Try transferring to another connection. Ayan. So, ito yung square space. So, meron silang free na trial. I wonder how many days yung free trial nila. I haven't really been using Squarespace. So, medyo bago talaga to sa akin. And I guess this would be a good example of a task na what if, you know, nag explore ka pa, nag learn ka pa. Um, but I hope na it's very similar sa paano gamitin yung WordPress, yung Tumblr, yung Blogger. Hopefully. And start a free trial. Tapos papipiliin ka niya ng themes Okay, so okay, create ka lang ng account Once you have a team, pwede na kayong pumasok dun sa website and follow the next steps.
So at least my pages siya. May design, may commerce. Siguro dito yung magbenta ng mga anong gusto mong ibenta if you have any products. May analytics. Ang meaning ng analytics is yan yung traffic. Yung mga visitors sa website mo. So makikita mo yung data. Ilan. Ilan yung visitors. Then may settings and help. So it looks hindi naman siya mukhang masyadong complicated kaya konti lang ang choices. So, merong pages, merong design, merong commerce, merong analytics. So, yung data about your visitors, the readers on your website. Yung commerce naman, was yung what you're selling products, services, etc. That's good to know. And so ito yung website and I have a list of keywords here in the Excel spreadsheet and if you haven't watched uh, the keyword research video before you use a tool called Google AdWords keyword planner. So I have a video for this in the earlier uh, in the earlier videos. And I just focus on this. Google AdWords keyword planner. And there's also a video in YouTube that will teach you now. It comes from Google itself. So I'll just get you the link for that. And once you have the, ano, once you do your research there, this is the finished product ma-download mo yung spreadsheet na nandun yung keywords niya and of course hindi to yung initial na finished product mas marami siyang data so dinelete ko yung data because hindi ko kailangan and I just left these two columns yung keyword ano yung tina-type sa Google ng mga tao tsaka ilan yung tao na nag-search every month And then, our goal is to just naturally put in Diba, tingnan natin ha Ito kaya yung website niya website niya. Which I think ito naman yun. Okay, isa lang man. Ayan, grabe ka. Slow talaga na ano. Turn it ngayon. And seems like pag i-hover ko itong ano, pwede ko siyang i-edit.
and before I make changes, what I'll do na lang is I will create screenshots proposing to the client first. So first, create a proposal for the client para i-approve niya muna kung okay lang ba na ito yung changes na i-implement. Okay, so ito na yung website ng client and it seems na in order to access yung website, paano mo ma-edit yung page niya? Yeah, so mabagal lang yung internet kanina kaya walang lumalabas. So ito na yung website niya and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take screenshots and then we'll figure out, familiarize yung keywords, relationship advice, Tingnan mo rin yung monthly searches kasi mas maganda yung marami ang nag-search. Hmm, ito yung benefit niya. Ah, we'll see. So, wala masyadong content yung homepage niya. And so, what I'm gonna do is it may involve a little bit of writing para malagay itong keywords na ito. So, we'll start with relationship of advice, uh, marriage counseling, marriage. Meron siyang divorce na word doon. So, at least, okay na. So, we'll do this. Are you in need of uh, relationship advice, marriage counseling, and relationship help? So, at least na-target na natin to Ang marriage kasi, nandyan na siya sa marriage counseling. Relationship advice. Tapos na din. Relationship help. Maybe you're struggling right now. Relationship So, ang isuggest ko sa client Idagdag to somewhere dito sa sinulat niya Add this to the start of the paragraphs. The number two suggestion is. Is it patayo? I think magdagdag tayo ng content dito sa baba. will involve some research and some article writing. If you're a writer, good. If not, ask for your team's writer. Meron kayong writer sa inyong what, whatever client or project you're working on. Usually, may writer yan sila. If not, then the client can hire. Mag-hire siya ng writer just to do the task. 
So, just did some research dito sa Google. I just type relationship advice to look for some tips. Uh, not really tips, but some examples of how they did it. Para meron tayong idea. And then, I just realized na merong book yung client na may existing siya na book na we can actually base yung content to put on the website. So, that would be faster, that would be simpler. And the relationship roadmap, creating relationships than you've ever dreamed of. And so, I would suggest to the client to, to grab this text and I hope with it to copy-paste. So, minsan yung PDF hindi siya mga copy-paste. I would suggest to the client to add this uh, section the on the bottom part. And actually, I changed my mind kasi kanina, 
I thought na marami na siyang laman so I will just go ahead and you know I will just go ahead and create a proposal but since halos wala siyang laman you know there's not two pictures it's nothing it's only one almost one paragraph lang nagi separate lang yung sentences it's nothing so I think it's it's okay na I just go inside directly and that's just a decision that you know I decide to make kasi looking at the website parang there's kawawa talaga yung website ngayon Let's do that. Yeah, so let's do that. Dagdag natin agad itong content na ito doon sa website para talagang maganda. So to do that, uh, log into Squarespace and then click nyo yung sa left na pages. I-hover nyo ito dito sa top, merong edit. So click nyo yung edit. So, pagdating dito sa edit page, pwede natin i-edit ulit yung page content. Paano ko siya i-screenshot na hindi mag mawala? Oh, okay. So, click on yung edit dito. then i-copy paste natin yung content and I'll decide not to uh, I'll decide not to delete this kasi baka magamit pa later or gusto niyang ibalik and even better what I'll do is I will copy itong text and I'll put it in the folder of the client in case na ma-accidentally ma-delete siya Initial website content 2018 yeah. And copy natin yung content from the book as well as yung ginawa ko kanina na my keywords. So yung yung layout niya is similar din doon sa WordPress at least merong mga ways to format it very easily so copy paste dinagdagan ko ng pin hindi pa siya ganun kalakas pero babalikan natin yung mamaya sige copy paste ko ito 
then yung size mas maganda siguro kung medyo mas malaki format pero parang wala siyang option pa paano mo palakihin So, in this case, since medyo nagasulat ako, that's, it would be a good idea to get some ideas from the competitor website, which is this. want to bring back the love in your relationship. So, hindi pa siya perfect but sige lang. Ganyan talaga ang process of writing. You write once, you you improve it and then you improve it again at least three times. And just to be I'll try copy pasting from uh, direct from word but there's a risk na masisira yung itsura. But well, I'll try it anyway. I'll just fix it kung may problem man. And save. Then view the website. So, mas maganda na merong benefits dito uh, sa taas. Ano yung ma makukuha ng mga readers? Ano yung good thing na mangyayari sa kanila kung uh, kung you know, babasahin nila ito at mag avail sila nitong libre na book. Kasi nagbibigay ng libre na book yung client para mag-sign up sila doon sa email sa email na parang form na enter your name, enter your email and then sign up. Tapos doon na magsesend ng more email si Darlene, more communication through email na. So this homepage here is just to attract, you know, people who are in need of relationship advice and then they'll get the free book which is itong PDF na ito and I think yung benefits niya is number one, end suffering and clear a path to joy. So I'll start typing that.
whether it's to save your marriage you know restore the lost love and connection restore the uh, appreciation and respect you've come to the right place Rather than say good news, remember remember that you are not alone and that thousands of people are struggling with you. Not with you, but like you, uh, struggling in relationships too. And the good news is that you can do something about it. Whether it's, whether it's to save your marriage, restore the lost love and connection, restore the appreciation and respect, you've come to the right place. Uh, learn how you can restore a loving relationship and nurture it by following the free relationship roadmap. So, dagdag tayo ng bulleted na benefits. And suffering and clear a path to joy, love, and connection. Bring out the best in you and your partners. Design your partnership. Provide from your heart. Receive from your heart agreements and design. Playing with your mapping board. Ano ba yung mapping board? Bring, bring out your playful side. Okay. Bring out. Mas maganda ito kasi... Uh, hindi, hindi maintindihan agad yung mapping board and play with your relationship roadmap and provide and receive appreciation I think that's a very helpful thing to do is to appreciate and be grateful put there uh, the eight steps what we did uh, we can save it now In, in this case, uh, what I did was I made a lot of decisions not on my own and that's a unique unique position because in some cases, hindi na kayo mag-decide. The client will already provide you with everything you need. But in this case, um, I am given more freedom by the client kasi yung way na kinausap ko siya parang okay siya na mag-make ako ng mga decisions. Nag-aas siya ng maraming advice. Ganun. So, 
But if if you're wondering, you know, how how do you make those decisions kung you are still starting? Syempre iba man yung may experience ka na iba na yung nagsisimula ka pa. And ang answer to that is even if you don't have experience, your client will guide you naman and your client knows. And So, i-save muna natin. Tingnan natin ano yung itsura. And refresh. Merong konting space dito so baka tanggalin natin yan. And then i-bold natin to. It would also be good kung merong mga pictures. But maybe later. I'm not a graphics designer so... Check the website again. And then... bold ko lang siya para mas madaling basahin. And delete natin yung extra spaces. So, basahin ko ulit review ulit kasi baka pwede pa nating pagandahin. Are you in need of a relationship advice, marriage counseling, and relationship help? Maybe you're struggling right now with your relationship and you want to bring back the love in your with your spouse. Yung spouse medyo generic siya na word so okay lang siya gamitin. Remember that you're not alone and that thousands of people are struggling in relationships. And the good news is that you can do something about it. Whether it's to save your marriage, ito yung benefits. Save yung marriage, restore the lost love and connection, restore the appreciation and respect, then you have come to the right place. Learn how you can restore a loving relationship and nurturing it by following the free relationship roadmap. So, mas maganda na lagyan natin na ano, uh, download your free relationship roadmap now. So, dito, dadagdagan natin ng sign up na form. So, just put here a placeholder mo na. put here a placeholder muna because we will set up the sign up form using what we call MailChimp and MailChimp it's another uh, website na nagpo-provide sila ng service na sila yung mag-handle ng mga email sign ups mo so MailChimp is free just go to MailChimp.com and that's what we're gonna set up next we'll put a sign up here at the top We'll also, we'll also put a sign up here at the bottom. And so, dalawang, dalawa, pwede rin tatlo sa pinakababa yun. Pwede rin. <coughs> Gahanap pa ko ng way pa paano i-change yung colors hindi masyado siya ano medyo limited yung option but anyway sige lang so hit save and then we added the sign up save 
Tapos, dinagdagan natin ng placeholder. So, placeholder pa lang siya. We'll add an actual form later. Ah, meron siyang mga ano. More options. Click mo lang pala ito. Okay lang. Okay, that's useful. Click on the ano icon. Click on this icon to have more options. And we'll go ahead and go inside MailChimp. I'll record a separate video for it para mas madaling hanapin yung MailChimp na video in the future. If you want to, you know, learn about MailChimp. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.